Right guys, good day, it's Jamin here from Oztech Drones. We're back again this time with the P100 Pro. What we want to go through this time is Exag's new VRTK system. It's an awesome new system that they just released. Um, it's been out for probably, well, to be honest, probably six months or so now. Um, so this works on the V40, the P100 and the P100 Pros. Um, so what it is pretty much basically is it's a virtual RTK system without any base stations. So it's still, a bit hard to get your head around how it works, but it works awesome. We've been using it for a fair while now. Um, it works really good. So XAG have a few options they have for your RTK settings. So you either have a fixed base station, which is what it is, is a, you know, um, customers put it on their shed, works within 50K radius. Great system, but you do need cellular coverage for that. We also have a mobile base station. So it sits on a tripod. You don't need any service for that. Great system as well, but Sometimes uh, it takes a bit while to, it takes a while to set up, and plus, if you want to move, you know, 5k away, you've also got to move the base station as well. So a lot more set, a lot more constantly uh, setting up with that, a lot more uh, time spent setting up. So <coughs> it's it, this this the VRTK system is a lot quicker. They've got their VRTK system now as well, which we'll go through how that works. And they've also got a GPS function as well, just pure GPS, pure GPS function though does you know it's like gps it does move you'll see it if it's going down a straight line it will move a bit over the place so it's like a very backup backup sort of situation uh, so you can still get the job done if you don't have any satellites or anything like that <coughs> so how the vrtk sort of works this is my understanding could be wrong 100 percent uh, like could be wrong but um this is what we've we've our understanding of it a basic sort of run through so what it does is you have your satellites, you've got your drone, and you've got your controller. So what it's doing is it's referencing to, the drone's referencing to the satellites, and it's also creating a reference to the controller as well, as sort of like a base station, but you can move it around. You don't need to keep the controller in one spot. So you can move around, you can move constantly throughout the field, and it keeps that RTK accuracy. So they say it it's, keeps the centimeter accuracy for about two and a half hours sort of thing, but in saying that, we've been days and it hasn't moved at all. It might move, you know, a few centimetres, you know, if you're landing on the back of the truck or in, you know, you'll see it moving tiny, tiny, minuscule amount. But you can reference that back and it takes literally five seconds, you know, to a corner and you'll be fine for the rest of the day again. But in saying that, that's just what XAG tell us. Two and a half hours is, you know, within centimetre accuracy. It may move over that. But in saying that, it's not like it's going to move 10 metres or a metre or anything like that. It's going to be minuscule amount. They just say that just to protect themselves, I think. So <coughs> that's the, how the VRTK, all it does is we literally just turn the drone on and then it just gets the VRT, as long as you have the controller on as well, you get that accuracy straight up. So it's, you're not mucking around with any base stations, you're not doing anything like that. You have that accuracy straight up um, and you can just go and start flying. So they also have now a thing called aligning the field. So what it is is, um, it's great for, you know, if you mark it out with the, the controller or another, you know, off a satellite map or anything like that, for instance, say if you're doing um, a nice square field, uh, you mark it off a satellite map, what you can do is just fly the drone to the corner of that field before you start, and then you say a line, you'll see, for instance, I'll do it on the controller here right now, actually. So if we go to this field here we've just done, so we're gonna click on this field and you can see device not RTK accuracy. That means it's not linked to a base station. You can still fly it and get the RTK accuracy using the VRTK. So we're gonna go offset correction and you can see here now where the drone is there and we've also got these little bounce, like all the points where we've marked. So say for instance, I'm gonna go in this top left hand corner up the top here. If I click on that boundary, down the bottom right hand corner there, it says offset to the drone. So what we do now, we fly the drone to where we know, on, we can see on the camera or we can visually see where, where it is sort of thing. We fly it to that corner of the field and then we just press offset to the drone and it'll move the, <coughs> the whole field exactly where it is. So that, that literally takes, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then that is way quicker than setting up any base stations or anything like that. That's, it, it, is, it has made things so much quicker, so much more reliable. You're not having to um, wait for things to connect or anything like that. It's just really taken uh, a lot of the field, uh, field setup times. It's just cut it, cut it in half sort of thing. So 
um, that's a huge big thing on how that works. You can also do it with the obstacles as well. Um, <coughs> we haven't, I haven't, we, we normally just do it with the actual uh, field, bound, uh, field corner um, and that way it, it works nice and quick. Uh, and then all you can do, you don't have to come back and land it. You can literally say start job and it'll just start spraying from that corner. So you can do it from when you, you know, on your first, first flight of the day and then it'll come back and land where you took off originally. <coughs> so that's a quick run through on how the VRTK sort of works. You can also use, some guys have their own base stations and we can use cause network and everything like that. You can still use all that. Um, some guys have base stations from when they had their older drones as well. You can still use that. But in saying that, we've got all that and we find it 10 times quicker and easier just to use VRTK. It's a lot quicker. So yeah, that's a quick run through on how the VRTK works. Very good.